Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a really simple little exercise. It takes like five minutes to do, but it's going to make enormous improvements in every area of your life that's important to you. Now, my name is Chris Shoup, and I created this channel and I recorded these videos to help you to be free in every way, to be free spiritually, to be free mentally, and to be free financially. So if you like freedom as much as I do, then you've come to the right place. Now, about two years ago, more or less, I went through a spiritual awakening that, that changed my life drastically. And about at the same time, I also quit my job. Now, the fact that those happened both at the same time were apparently coincidence. I mean, you know, probably nothing's a coincidence to God, but in my mind, they were coincidence. And since that time, my personal growth in every area of my life has just gone up like crazy. It's shot up like a rocket. And one of the big reasons for that was that I changed my focus. Now, before that time, uh, in, in the few years that preceded that, the things that I was focusing on were not the things that I wanted to accomplish in my life. I had my focus completely wrong. The, the biggest thing that I was focusing on in that time was politics. I was spending hours and hours arguing with people about politics on the internet. Now, my, my goals in life had nothing to do with politics, right? My, uh, the, the biggest thing that I was trying to do at that time was to make it as a musician. I had a band, it's, uh, it was a heavy metal band called Consinity, which you can go check out if you feel like. We had a few videos on YouTube. And so that was my main endeavor, but even though that was the main thing I wanted to accomplish, I was putting very little thought into that. You know, I would go to band practice when I had to go to band practice. I played shows when I had to play shows. But apart from that, I was putting very little focus on the band. And even while I was playing, usually my mind was somewhere else. And so the biggest thing that I was actually focusing on was arguing about politics. And I guess it made me feel good in the moment because I was good at it. And I would usually w win the arguments and, you know, I I'd feel smart. But I, I realized... Later, you know, when I went through this kind of awakening, that I was wasting an enormous amount of time, enormous amount of energy, enormous amount of focus on something that really was not serving me at all. And so, not surprisingly, the thing that I actually wanted to accomplish, the musical career, just never really took off and never really did very well. And I've since found that what you focus on is what you get. Where you direct your attention, where you direct your energy is so incredibly important to what you accomplish in life. And most people uh, never figure this out, right? Most people just spend their lives all, putting all of their precious attention, putting all of their precious energy on something that's never going to do them any good whatsoever. And so I created this little exercise that's going to be a huge help for you in figuring out if the way that you are directing your attention is serving you, and if not, uh, helping you to redirect it towards something that does serve you. So what I want you to do is go find a pen and paper, and I recommend that you actually do write this down. There's something, uh, there's something useful about writing something down as opposed to just having it in your mind or writing it on a computer. Actually writing it down on a pen and paper just makes it more real. So I recommend that you go uh, pause this video if you have to, go find a pen and paper, and then come back to it. Okay, so you got your pen and paper. Step one, there's only two steps to this exercise. Step one is you are going to list out in rank order the five things that you think about that you put the most attention on. Now, I don't want you to include your work. If you have a full-time job or if you have certain obligations, right? I mean, you have to think about your job while you're at, while you're at work, right? I, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about in your free time, in the times when you are not forced to think about anything, in the time when you're in the bathroom, the time when you're sitting in traffic, the time when you, you come home and you don't have anything that you have to do. Write down the top five things that you think about during those times. So just to illustrate, I'll give you a common example here. So say uh, maybe the number one thing I think about is sports, right? That's a pretty common one, right? And then maybe the t number two thing that I think about is politics. And then maybe the number three thing I think about are all the people that wronged me or the, the company that gave me bad customer service, right? Just kind of fuming uh, about something bad that happened to me. So I'll just say rude people for number three. And then let's say number four thing that I think about is my career. And then number five thing I think about, let's say, is just worrying about all the bad things that, that might happen in the future. 
how I might lose my job or I might fail in my business venture or the economy might crash or we might all get infected with a disease, right? Um, so we, we do that a lot. Most people do that a lot. So uh, let's say worrying about future. So that would be an example of five things that a normal person spends their time thinking about. So go ahead and uh, do that exercise yourself. List the five things that you think about the most and try to put them in rank order too so that number one is the thing that you think about the most, right? Number two is the thing that you think about the second most, etc. So go ahead and do that now. Okay, so now that you've got this part finished, um, what I'm gonna ask you to do is just beside each of these top five things that you came up with, Right, just yes or no, right, whether or not it serves you, right? Whether or not it's making your life better, whether focusing on this thing is improving your life in some way. So for, in this example, probably uh, for sports, I would say no, that's not serving me. Politics, no. I mean, again, unless, uh, unless I'm a professional athlete or a professional sports commentator, then thinking about this might be helpful for me. Right, but in most cases, the answer is going to be no. Um, same thing with politics. If I'm a politician, obviously, I'm going to think about politics. But if I have no political aspirations, it's just basically a complete waste of my time. Uh, rude people, that's not helpful in any situation, right? My career, yeah, that's probably helpful, right? So I'll, I'll write yes on that, and then worrying about the future, I write no. So we got a pretty bleak picture here, right? In my example, I, I have. One out of five things that I think about commonly is actually helpful to me, and the rest is just waste, right? It's just a giant waste of my time and my attention, which is the most precious possession that I have. So go ahead and do this part of the exercise. And by the way, I, I want you to be honest with yourself in this whole exercise, right? The, the point of this is not to feel good about your habits. The point of this is to recognize leakage, to recognize places where you could improve and you're, you could make your life a whole lot better than it is now. So the more honest you are with this exercise, the more benefit you're going to get from it. So go ahead and do that now, and then we'll get to the next part. Okay, so you finished part one, and you should be feeling pretty bad about yourself by this point. Just kidding. No, the point of this is not to feel bad about yourself. The point of this is to recognize the amazing opportunity there is if you just change your focus. So now uh, part two of the exercise is to figure out what it is that would serve you if you focused on. So what I'm gonna ask you to do is list out the top five things that if you directed your attention and your focus there, it would serve you the most. And again, do this in rank order, right? Where number one is the thing that would serve you the most, the, the most possible benefit would come from number one, and the second most benefit would come from number two, etc. So I'll give you an example again. So let's say uh, maybe number one is spiritual growth. And then number two is building your business. And then uh, number three is learning, learning new skills. And I'm not telling you what's, what's important to you, by the way. This is just, uh, just an example that I'm using. These are the things that are the most important to me. And for what's going to be more, most important to you, it might be different. Uh, four, let's say, is your physical health. And five, maybe uh, artistic pursuit. Maybe you're an artist or a musician or a fictional writer or something like that. So go ahead and do that. Write down the top five things that if you focus your attention there would improve your life the most. And by the way, if, if you want to just brain dump everything you can think of that would improve your life if you focused on it, then you could do that first. And then uh, after that, kind of rank order the top five. So, um, you know, whichever way you want to do it, but get a, a top five that you really believe in. So go ahead and pause the video and do that. Okay, so now you're finished with step two. You should have a list of the things that if you put your focus on those things, you would actually make your life considerably better. Now, you're probably feeling a lot better at this point, 
actually. It feels good to recognize what you should be doing and to actually give yourself a plan that will help in, improve your life. And that's kind of uh, your, your soul, in my opinion, this is your soul recognizing that you're on the right track. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna recognize whenever you're thinking of one of those things on your first list, the things that are not serving you, you are going to catch yourself thinking those things and you are going to redirect your attention to the things that are serving you. And by the way, when I'm talking about attention, I'm not only talking about thoughts, but I'm also talking about what you do, right? If you're, if you're watching uh, two hour long YouTube documentaries about politics, when you've decided that thinking about politics isn't worth your time, then that's uh, two hours of wasted time, right? You're, you're directing your attention towards what you're doing. Or if you're reading books or you're you know, reading articles about things that are uh, not worthy of your attention, then stop reading those books, stop reading those articles and find an article or a book or a video or whatever about the thing that is going to serve you. And if you think that you could benefit from having frequent reminders of this, what I would recommend is that you uh, put both lists on one page. So you put your list of things that you tend to think about, and then your list of things that you should be focusing your attention on. Put them both on one page, and then just tape that paper up somewhere where you're gonna see it often. Put it by your bed or by your computer or on your bathroom mirror, you know? Wherever it is that you are going to remind yourself often so that every time you see that piece of paper, you're gonna remember to redirect your thoughts from the things that are not serving you, the things that are habitual and are actually holding you back, to the things that are serving you and are gonna make your life better. So I hope you find this exercise useful and let me know in the comments if you're gonna do it and if you wanna share the results that you got from your exercise, even better, you know, if you're, if you're brave enough to, uh, to share of yourself like that. And as a little thank you for uh, supporting me on YouTube, for watching my video, I'd like to offer you a, a free gift. It's a little mini ebook called The Eight Daily Habits for Success, Happiness, and Spiritual Fulfillment. I'll put a link to it in the description below. You can get that absolutely free. And if you like this video, I'd also really appreciate if you hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, hit the bell icon beside the subscribe button so you get all my future videos about how you can be free in every area of your life if that's something that you're into. And share this video with anybody else you know that might be able to benefit from it. And if you really, really want to cut through all the noise and, and get to what is the purpose of life, I made a video about that here. It was, uh, you know, something that's a little nerve wracking for me because it's a big question, but uh, I, I gave it my best shot. So I think you like that video as well.